So what about cookie dough and coconut cashew Cadbury chocolates? Let's find out! What's going on guys? Thanks for coming and welcome for today's taste test review video. Today! Trash to go burn. Let's try it again. Today! We have dairy milk, or to be exact, Cadbury chocolate bars in some amazing flavors. Coconut cashew and the one I'm most excited about, cookie dough. And I'm gonna give you a quick review of this dark chocolate bar. I've had it before. Well, for you, let's welcome a surprise guest that you have never seen, my brother. Uh, okay, guys, as you see, we are already festive. We have lights. It's almost Christmas. We have two bars. We're two brothers. We're gonna try both. Which one should we try first? Let's go with the coconut one. It's coconut cashew. It's it's more special. There's cashew inside of it? Yes! What? So here is the bar underneath midsection. We each gonna have a piece. This is for you. Nice. And one for me. Let's see what's about about coconut cashew. Cashew in the coconut. Delicious. That's really, really good. Would have the whole bar. It was really nice. I don't know, I've never tasted something like this, I, I don't know how to compare it. I don't even remember eating chocolate with coconut. Can you even compare this to something? Actually, I kind of think I can. So this tastes like a Milka. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing Milka to Cadbury, but actually they're owned by the same brand, uh, Mondelez, I think. The color is the same? Yeah, Mondelez, Mondelez. So Mondelez owns Cadbury and Milka, but uh, my idea is that it is like chopped hazelnut milk chocolate bar from Milka, but with coconut flakes. That was not my question. So you have never tasted something like no, that? No, I've had once white chocolate with coconut, but it wasn't really good because it was like Kauf one brand. I think the closest to this that I, have, that I have tasted was Bounty, but like no. it, it must be reversed, like a lot of chocolate and a little bit of coconut. Yeah, this is totally delicious, guys. You can definitely taste the cashews, you can taste the coconut and Cadbury chocolate, let's be honest, it's one of the best. For me, Cadbury and Milka is like, even this is one of the best chocolates I've had and uh, I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10. This is a banger chocolate. If you have it in your country, go and get it. I'm thinking right now. What is the best chocolate that I have ever tasted? When I think about the best chocolate is the Milka one with the strawberry pieces and milk maybe inside, what was it? A strawberry yogurt. Yeah, so this is this is pretty nice, but the difference between the strawberry one and this one is that... Uh, this They're one... to totally different bars. No, one is no, cream filled no, and the other... I mean like, this one you can put it in your mouth and it can melt. And the other one, you kind of have to chew it. But the taste of the other one is better. Like I'm comparing right, right now the best chocolate that I have ever tasted and this is one of the best, so it's not the best, so I'm gonna give it 9.5. Amazing bar. Now to the cookie dough. To be exact, this is Chips Ahoy cookie dough. Milka had, I think still has, but in Bulgaria we had it like one or two years ago. Milka Chips Ahoy. But it was like cream filled with um, cookie pieces inside. And this one, from what I saw in some reviews, it's like cookie pieces or cookie dough pieces inside of the chocolate, no cream. Here's how it looks underneath. I see a lot, a lot of chunks can be seen and you can see the cookies inside. Thank you, my friend. 3 to 1, cookie dough or chips and hot Cadbury. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth, so sweet, like sickening sweet, but I love eating Really, really sweet stuff. Wow. You get the crunch of the cookies, but at the same time, it does have like a cookie dough texture. It's like the cookie melts in your mouth and it gets, I don't know, doughish. It's really sweet. Cookie dough in general is really, really sweet and it's vanilla flavor. I do get some vanilla here. I know, the, for me, this is up there with the coconut and cashew bar. Actually, I think I prefer this bar over the coconut cashew, I'm gonna give it... Oh god, no, please, no! No, god, please, no! 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 
I'm gonna give it just a bit bigger score. I'm gonna give it 9.2. I think that's about right. I think you already know what I'm gonna say. What are you gonna say? First of all, you know that my score is gonna be lower. Why? Because all the times I have tried something with cookie dough, how many times have I given the biggest score? Like, it's really nice, really nice. But first of all, I tasted the chocolate a lot more than the dough. Which is that, which is normal. That's the point. That's the point of a chocolate bar. It was sometimes crunchy, sometimes what was almost chewy when you when it was wet. Well, cookie dough is th that kind of flavor that you don't really get a lot. Like we had Kit Kat cookie dough, and it doesn't taste like cookie dough necessarily, but it's sweeter. It's not nice chocolate, but for me, nothing, nothing special. How much you give it? Eight. It's a nice score. Eight out of ten. Me and my brother. I'm sure we both really like these bars and um, we're gonna enjoy them a bit later. Now go check out your potatoes. He's cooking potatoes now, it has to go to check them out. That's that for these bars guys and just briefly I've had this bar before. It's really good, it's really rich dark chocolate but at the same time it's really sweet, not that milky which I really like. I, I really enjoy my dark chocolates and um, yeah I'm gonna give this one 8.5. That's it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, make sure to give a like, comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more taste test review videos, for a lot more vlogging videos in the future I hope, because now it's my final week, I have two weeks of exams, so this one and next one, so I'm gonna be kind of busy, I want to make this video to let you know about that if you care about it, close that stick till the end of the video, guys. After the 20th, I'm gonna make a mukbang. Let's go a cheat meal, but it's not gonna be really a cheat meal because I'm gonna try to fit everything in my calories for the day or for that specific day because I'm gonna save some car. Anyways, you're gonna see what I mean when the day comes. So, what I want from you guys is go in the comment section below, comment any question you have towards me or you want to ask me about my life, about my nutrition, about my fitness, about um, whatever you want to know about me and let me know at least one topic you want me to talk in that video because it's gonna be a mukbang meal video and I really want to talk about topics that you care about and I can tell you my opinion or my point of view about it. One more time, hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.